So in 1990, um, my grandmother and my grandfather were helping my aunt and uncle, and their last name is Briny, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, but they were helping my aunt and uncle. My aunt and uncle had bought a house on North Fountain, and they were renovating it. And they were wanting to historically bring it up to date, all the way down to the correct knobs, the correct fixtures, uh, paint, uh, tile around the fireplaces. And the house was built between 1903 and 1905. And so um, to, to, uh, to find uh, pieces of, uh, it wasn't like you could go to Lowe's and find a 1903 doorknob. Um, so there was a house that had been condemned and uh, they had gotten permission to go into the house um, and find pieces that they might be able to use in, in their home on Fountain. So my grandmother, my grandfather, and my aunt and uncle go to this house and they're hauling pieces out of the house that they can use. And, and my grandfather kept tripping over this piece of linoleum all day long. And finally, in classic guard fashion, he's completely upset and mad, and he pulls the piece of vinyl up. And when he does, he sees this yellow poster, and it's a bright yellow. And upon review, he starts looking, and there are tons of posters from the dedication of the original Cape Girardeau Bridge that was dedicated in 1928. And until 1990, there were no posters saved from the bridge dedication in 1928. So at that point in time, my uh, grandma and grandma, aunt and uncle, they start pulling them out. All the ones they didn't have to restore because they were in, in mint condition, a lot of them, because they had been under the linoleum in this house, which, which even bringing it fuller circle, the gentleman's house that, that was being condemned had worked for the city of Cape back in 1928 and had used these posters as insulation underneath his flooring. There are three in my family, uh, one of them that I have that, were, that was uh, my grandparents, my aunt and uncle, the Brineys have one, and then my uncle Perry Guard has a, a, the third one. Um, at that point in time in 1990, they ended up giving one to the River Heritage Museum, um, sold a few. So in 1990, there were zero and I think to date, there are maybe 12 to 13 in circulation and, and uh, they're phenomenal, uh, f phenomenal historical piece for our, our city, phenomenal conversation piece as well. I have one, mine actually is hanging up in my bank. I get to walk by it every day. A lot of people get to see it and I'm, I am uh, so proud of that in general. Now what even the serendipitous moment is, is that it was historical preservation that took them to the house that found something that was historical to be preserved. My aunt and uncle finished that home in, uh, in the early 90s, completely renovated, and still to this day sits on the historical register locally known as the Briny House. So as Paul Harvey would say, now you have the rest of the story.